I'm Sean Miller. I'm the Central Production Director at Rolling Hills Community Church. We had the chance to review and play with some Dante AV-enabled devices. So here at Rolling Hills at our broadcast campus in Franklin, we have, I think, six conference rooms. We have multiple uh, auditoriums. Dante is everywhere. We have over 100 devices on our network at any given time. Prior to this, I have not had any experience really with Dante AV or any of the other video protocols over networking mainly just because I'm an old soul and they scared me. I did not want to branch into that world. I love Dante, use it heavily, but was scared to put uh, video over the, the network and potentially bog things down. So I was kind of a, you know, leave video hardwired, leave audio uh, on its own thing and never the two shall meet. I was very nervous about the amount of data crossing the network because of multi-tracking and, and all of the things. and. We just have a standard uh, gigabit network, nothing crazy. We're not 10 gig here yet or anything like that. And it was flawless. It worked very well. I was watching it constantly because I was nervous and it was rock solid. So the team at Audinate sent us a PTZ camera that is Dante AV enabled from PTZ Optic so that we had something to test on that end. We were able to start putting this PTZ camera in places around our room in our main auditorium first uh, because we have Dante everywhere. And so plug it in and suddenly now we have a PTZ cam on stage. We have a PTZ cam in our booth and we're not having to run SDI, which we have done up to this point everywhere we needed a camera and you're taping down wires and this and that. Another device they sent us was a Bolin Dante AV decoder. So allowing us to send video onto the network, but now you need to get it off the network and onto a TV or a projector or something like that. So we used it in a couple ways. The first that made the most sense was our overflow space. Up to this point, we've obviously just, again, run SDI everywhere. So this allowed for one box, one cable to be dropped in that room and the audio comes out Dante already and the video is HDMI to the projector and boom, we have an overflow cafe. Before we would have taped wires to the floor and, and done this or that. And now because that room is on the network, it also had video capabilities. It very much was as plug and play as anything else Dante. It shows up, you click it, you add it, uh, you know, it's drag and drop. It's very user friendly. It just worked. I, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Getting going on Dante Director was super easy. For us, we utilize Stream Decks for all sorts of quick button macro devices. And now with the push of a button, I can change Dante routes, which allows us to fully utilize a redundant ProPresenter rig we were trying to create. And the only thing holding us up was being able to change the Dante route. So this has opened up a whole new world for us of routing and things like that from the push of a button. So for churches like us that are in the process of upgrading and making changes, especially if you're already in a Dante ecosystem, I think getting onto the Dante AV train absolutely makes sense. Everything is a home run. 